Okay, so you can use your V tool for that or this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera for a minute, go all the way around the beard, put some lines in from here in. I'm going to flatten this out here, scoop some out there, and uh, up on top too, I'm going to use the tool and stick some hair on him, and we'll see what he looks like. When I come back, we'll do some eyes. Okay. What I did was I went around the beard, all right, with that tool, that gouge, cleaned him up a little bit, made his mouth a little bit wider, because while I was doing that, I got the brainy idea of, boy, this guy would look good, but he needs something, all right? Up in here, I just ran that gouge, and I'm going to show you how to do that hair before we put the eyes in. And while I was off camera, I also, like I said, I was looking at him and thinking, he needs something, I want to do something different with him, because he's pretty much basically just a, a log, you know, or a, a thick stick. So what I decided to do was make a pipe for him. So I built, it, built his mouth out a little bit, so and I made a little wooden pipe, right, out of the same wood. And what I did was I took some of the bark that I've been scraping off and I put it inside the pipe, like tobacco. Okay. And uh, so pretty much when he's done, he's gonna be looking something like that. Okay. My camera got adjusted somehow. See if I can get a better, better angle of that for you. If I can bring it in here, I guess. There we go. Back to the table there. Okay, so that's what we're going to do with him, I think. Uh, kind of like him with the pipe. It leans off to one side. So you can turn it however you want. Okay, and uh, I could anchor it in there before somebody decides to buy them you know I could uh, glue it in or, or even epoxy it drill a little hole up in there and really insert it good and just have them take it out if they want right so it's kind of neat you can do that stuff with these guys uh, they're fun you could do use your imagination and do whatever you want okay so let's finish his hair up and take his pipe move it over to the side there but I think I like him with the pipe let me get that v-tool again well it's not a v-tool but this gouge I ran up in here because I want to keep the bark, all right, and then I'm, the bark you see left here, underneath that, I'm going to take off with this and make some grooves to finish the hair. You see that really nice effect that gave that? That tool just gone on. Now, uh, later on, I'll run my V-tool up in there, uh, probably after uh, I'm done with this tape, I'm making it long enough as it is. I don't want you guys to fall asleep on me, all right? But I'm going to take that off up here. And basically that's all I did was I ran it along the side of the head, you know, created a bunch of those grooves, gave it some texture, and I'll do the same up here. I'm try and just take that off, give it some highs and lows. Take the rest of it off first and see what I got. I'm just randomly going through it here. Then I'll turn it, look at it, see if I like it. If I don't, I'll go back and adjust. Right? That's an easy way to do it. You do want to round that edge off so it looks a little more natural, like hair up here at the top. It needs something, otherwise it's just a really hard edge and looks really unnatural. Especially after you're going to put the time into detail and the way they are. So. Okay. All I'm doing is giving them some ridge lines there. I'm trying to get some of that hard edge right there around. Got to take some of that off. And then we can mess with putting a part in or whatever. We're just leaving like that. That's just using this tool. Say, so once we get the V tool, we'll put the lines in. You'll see what happens when you add some cuts with a V tool. We'll start bringing those out, those ridges, and then you can shape 
whatever hair you want. And again, it gives it the highs and the lows and some depth and it won't be just a bunch of straight lines like I see on so many carvings. They just look real stringy then. And we're trying to avoid making them look stringy. Up in here, it needs a hard cut for the V tool. Kind of straighten that bark out. I could run some up in there. Uh, here's, like I said, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the hair. The video is getting too long. But you could play with it. At the end, do whatever you want. I'm basically just giving them a ridge on top and then putting some lines in. And I'll shape all them with a gouge or whatever. And I'll make them break them up. The more I can break them up, the more natural he'll look. I run the V-tool up the side of it. Right here bring that out a little more and then in from the side get some depth and spots but you get the idea okay so all I'm trying to do is give you a couple of different techniques you can do that's just written this right here, I would probably make the main sweep of the hair. Let's do that. So you, you can separate it. There's a nice little wedge. Make a part. And then run the hair. Any direction you want, really. But, uh... On this side in under the part. Get some depth in there. Make some shadow. A little bit more up in here. So it's just not straight across, you know? I bring this down into the part on that side and this side. Smooth that down into the part. And then get the forehead to go up and under. really planning on doing a, a big hair job here. And now that I started it, I want it to at least look like his hair is right. So, let me just adjust that up. Okay, so you want to take a little bit out over here and let the hair, you could sweep it right off the bark that way. And uh, let me get them with a little sandpaper. Okay. And you get the idea for the hair. Okay. That right there, I'd make a little deeper that cut. And you see how the parts start to form there. And you tuck the head up underneath it. And that's how you do that. Let's check out that pipe again. Oh, yeah. That'll look good. Might have to shorten that. All right, he needs eyes. We're almost done. Mustache lines too. I'm gonna get my pencil. Make sure I'm in the view of the camera here. And I'm gonna put some brow uh, eyelid line, just like that. See that? I'm going to do that on the other side. Try to keep it fairly even. Looking about the same. This one right here, I'm going to squint. If you want different expression, you squint one. 
other one could be long, you can have one closed, have them winking, there's all kinds of different ways to do eyes. Okay? Uh, the basic way is to just make two easy eyes, just make them both the same. This one right here I'm going to try and raise up a little bit, just because of the contour of that cheek. It'll give me a little more room to put that eye. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut here, dig our knife in here, right at these corners. We're going to pop. I'm going to pop that little black mark out, that chip. Okay, so we're going to make a cut there, cut there, and pop that chip out. And we're going to do the same on the other side, right under the lid. Here, same thing. We're going to cut here. Stick our knife in. Here. And we're going to pop that inside corner out. Okay, I might have to extend this eye a little. I think I'm going to run into trouble on this side. And I have to see. I'm going to get my detail knife. I'll use this one. The tip on it's already a little bit broken. It's a little stronger. It's off of it, but it seems to work good for digging now. So they say do the left eye first. I always do the right eye. I, I really don't know why they say that. I guess if you're right-handed, you're supposed to do the left eye first. Uh, maybe I will try the left eye first. That's going to be the trouble eye. So but you see what I'm doing? I'm digging my knife right in the corner, just like that. Dig it in, pop it out, make a good little divot. Again, bring it, make it come to a point, one on each side. Get a pointy little tool for this. The skew works great. Nice little skew. That's why I'm using the knife with the broken point because this is how I usually break my points. <laughs> if I'm using my uh, detail knife. Okay, we're just going to pop that corner out to get some shadow there. We're going to turn it. And the more that you can get out, the more shadow you're going to have down there. I'm going to stop cut that brow line. And then undercut. Good night for that. Okay. I'm trying to erase a little bit of that pencil mark. I'll do that with sanding too. But I'm going a little below it because I don't want to get too high up. It's a little too high. So all I did was undercut, made a stop cut. Probably hard for you to see because that pencil line's still there. But I cut right a, a little bit underneath that pencil line. Stop cut and then removal cut. My corner is here and it's underneath that lid, right? I round into and underneath that lid. Okay? So I'm doing that. If you can't see what I'm doing here, check out the eye video. If you're subscribed to my channel uh, on carving eyes, and you'll see it there. Now I'm going to get this corner here. If there's one. I'm going to turn it over, get the other right underneath the lid. Make them come to a point, take that chip out. Okay, he's done. Right? As far as that goes, I could shave that pencil line off later. I don't want to get too meticulous about it right now. I'm going to go to the other side. One. Two. Before I take the corner, I make my stop cut all the way across that lid. Okay, take the corner out, go right underneath the stop cut. If you have to, get it more than one, there it goes, it popped right out, right? Undercut your lid. Get that corner. 
one. Sorry if I put it down out of view for a minute. I do have to get leverage here. Okay, now I gotta pop that corner out. Okay. Now you have a little bit, you have your eye mounds inside there. Still have pencil lines too, but they'll go away once you start rounding everything off and clean it up. Okay. I'm gonna make sure I got some roundness, some eye mounds. Deeper in the corners. If they're really big mounds, you want to shave them down. Go try to go from the center in to the corner. Okay. Make sure you have enough wood under here. Take your pencil and draw the rest of that. I think of this is round on the inside. Okay, that eyeball. I'm gonna draw. What I'm doing is drawing the bottom of that eye, and then I'm drawing, first of all, I'm thinking of it as being a circle, and I draw the whole eyeball, and that will be my bag underneath, and this right here we can shorten with a V-tool, lines like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do, 